now with COVID restrictions lifted, there's a whole host of different emotions and reactions. For some people, it's pure joy. They're now able to meet friends and family without a limit and go out and about as before. But for others, the easing of restrictions could be increasing anxiety. Here to discuss how we're feeling and what to do about it, I'm joined in the studio for the first time in 18 months by psychotherapist Lena Mukherjee. Thank you so much for being here. How exciting. It is incredibly <laughs> exciting, Chloe, and thank you for having me on. I was just thinking, our hair that's grown these 12 months. We've it right here, haven't we? We have. It's lovely to have you back, but we are here to talk about yes. something serious. Yes. Um, now, with restrictions being eased, mm. what have you noticed people are feeling? There's been a different reaction, hasn't there? Absolutely. Ambivalence, I think, is the word. It, and polarised. So you've got those who are so excited, and it's like before COVID, with no wanting to hold the awareness to others who are really quite scared and ambivalent around well what's okay not okay because the virus hasn't gone but our policies about what's okay not okay have changed so yes polarized and ambivalence why do you think there is such a difference across the board i think right if those who've been affected either directly or through relatives friends etc are far more cautious because they've seen what can happen but for those who haven't been encountering, then I think it, it, well, it hasn't registered that it's important to, to keep safe almost. So I think if you've had experience, it's made it much more real. And young people have been affected slightly more, it seems, because partly due to the closure of the hospitality sector. How much of an impact has that had? And, what, and why do you think that is? Oh, I think it's had a huge impact, Chloe. And I'm just thinking back to my student days a long time ago, 30 <laughs> years ago. That's where all the talk happens, all the discussing. You find your mates, you talk about life, you, you get a sense of unity, belonging, and feeling reassured. And when you haven't had any of that at that stage of your life, when you're just starting to develop a sense of your identity, your resilience is really hard. And I think that's what's caused such a, a struggle to not be able to get the reassurance over a coffee. Lots can be solved rather than having to go to, into deep therapy, I'd say. Often a conversation, yeah, you feel like that. Yeah, I feel like that too. It ain't too bad, and that hasn't been happening. Mm. So, yes, I'm not surprised. And we've definitely missed it, haven't we? Um, yes. How long do you think it would take for us to adjust, I suppose? It's <laughs> a really good question, Chloe. Well, human beings are phenomenal at adapting. Look what we, we did when we, I think back to where we were <laughs> last Thank year. You <laughs> Thank you, Zoom. And we, you know, that sense of continuity. And with adaptability, then becomes norms where we can get stuck. So, the risk is that's going to become a norm when we don't try things out. And I think if I can encourage your viewers to take the risk, like we said all along, take a step out, come back. Don't go beyond what's not comfortable, but it's trying things out. Otherwise, it's going to take longer. Mm. But at the same time, being careful. So carry on with, the, you know, as is, what's worked. Social distancing, keeping masks on, keep washing hands. Mm and be sensible and we can still do this <laughs> <laughs> good advice there and um, what can people do if the thought of going out kind of back to normal mm. again is completely overwhelming how can they take it step by step right you know what we said all along every time we've met become aware of how you're feeling name how you're feeling so if you don't say i am sad say i feel sad i feel rather than i am it's very very important that that choice of word and get a sense of understanding why you're feeling it and then taking a risk, like I just said, to perhaps take a 10 minute walk out, test the field, is there space, test your, in, your fantasy in your head, is it really happening? Well, actually there is lots of space to walk around, fine. That then helps you to reevaluate your reality in your head with what is really happening. And that goes a long way. Unfortunately, we haven't got that long left. So what do you think the future holds? I think it's positive if we're sensible and realistic and having hope that actually if, the, if more people take responsibility of their wellness, then that spreads. It's when we're careless and don't care that can affect. So I hold hope that we are so look how well we've done exactly this you has know? been a nice serotonin boost just seeing you in the studio you just too. Love to continue. lovely to see <laughs> Great you advice as always thank you so much lena next to remind